Hey everybody, it's George Foshan called Realty Best Palos Verdes Homes. It is May 1st, uh, 2021, and it's the uh, monthly real estate market report on real estate trends affecting Palos Verdes Homes and the South Bay. So what you'll want to do uh, is go to bestpalosverdeshomes.com. Hover your mouse over this seller and buyer tips column. We're getting this menu fixed, by the way. Uh, but for now, just, just know that you go to this first link right here and click that, and that'll take you right to the page. Uh, this video can be found that I'm recording now right here. And these charts will scroll by. Uh, I would say that um, this is a good start um, in terms of uh, taking a look as to, as to what's going on with the market. Um, what we're... What were, oh, by the way, when you hover your mouse over a, over a chart, the uh, automatic slideshow will stop. So what we're looking here is some objective data in terms of, of how the market is behaving as a result of changes in supply and demand. And we're looking at three different uh, six-month periods of time. Uh, we're looking at September 1st, 2019, through the end of February of 2020. Uh, and we're looking at that same six month period that just happened. So September 1st, 2020 through February 28th, 2021. And then the third thing is the, is the six months uh, just prior. So in this case, August, beginning of August of 2020 through the end of uh, January, 2021. And we're comparing how the market is absorbing inventory uh, based on the rate at which homes have been selling in these different markets, whether it's the entire greater South Bay area or Palos Verdes Estates uh, or the Palos Verdes Peninsula as a whole or Rolling Hills Estates, what have you. Uh, we're looking at um, how, how supply and demand has affected um, how the market is absorbing inventory. And that's really the only objective way to tell whether the market is improving or not. And we can see very clearly that the market, um, in this case for Rancho Palos Verdes, the market has improved quite a bit from 225 days of unsold inventory a year ago to 192 days of unsold inventory right now. Now, that change happens for two reasons, and usually both at the same time. Either demand has improved or supplies have decreased, because it's all about supply and demand. Any, any commodity, its price is regulated only by those two forces. And you can get into the, the weeds, as it were, in studying the data. Um, let's look at Rancho Palos Verdes. Um, we see that there were 221 listings put on the market in that in that earlier period of time with 177 properties that went into escrow and most recently supplies did increase but compared to last year demand increased even more and i put it into percentages here how much did supplies increase well almost six percent but demand increased by almost 24 percent so naturally we would we would calculate a lower number of, of uh, unsold inventory absorption rate. Um, so that's that's kind of the, the meat of it here, I, I, kind of technical, but, you know, it's what we do. I and mean, we've got to figure it out before we go out and price property. We have to understand what the trends are telling us. Uh, are things improving, weakening? Uh, how, how will that affect how we price a property given competitive sales in the last few months? Um, and, and this all kind of goes into the mix in figuring out uh, what to list your home for when, when you decide to sell your home. So that's it. Um, thanks for your time. And um, we'll be talking soon. Bye for now.